guys, Michael here as always, and of course it's always me. Who else would it be? Because <laughs> if anybody else actually said hello, then it means they've stolen my channel, and I'd be upset. I, I mean it, I'd be like, upset. Are you telling me you're serious? I am. <laughs> okay, so let me show you where we are. Well, you know where we are, we're in the ravine still, because I'm still wanting to find emeralds, but let me show you what I've done. Yes, I've been working pretty hard, look. Look, look, look. I've gone down multiple levels, even right down to the bottom where the lava is. Dropped a bit of water down, so I've got somewhere to land. Shush. And, uh, yeah, so we've gone down multiple levels now. And uh, then I noticed something rather upsetting. Yes, it's the boundaries. Look at this. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom in for a minute on desert bl or bl whatever that is anyway it basically means i'm in a desert biome right now and of course i want to be in extreme hills and if i go along here watch that desert da, 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 it changes to plains so i'm between the plains and desert and if i go over here and move over to the other side now we're in extreme hills so I'm actually bordering a plains, a desert, and an extreme hills. And I've managed to work out, by moving round a lot, that the extreme hills runs that way. So it means I've got to go over here. If I go over there, which there's a couple of nice caves over there, I'm in a plains. If I dig that way, I'm in a desert. So of course, I've got to keep going that way. Now, I did actually... There we go. I did actually get this way, but there were no caves. So I did a bit of uh, digging to try and find some caves. I did one there and I did one there. And I was looking for some caves because that will go, the, that will lead into extreme, into extreme hills. And I finally found one. I didn't think I was going to, I was almost ready to give in. I was just so annoyed. <laughs> and I found one here eventually, which still does. But the problem is, as I walk forward, it went into Extreme Hill's Edge. So, well, there you go. But it still counts because you can still find um, Emerald in Extreme Hill's Edge as well. So it's okay. So you're going to see me do this cave. Oh, no. Oh, no, wait, that's... Whew, I thought that meant it would open to the sky, but it isn't. <laughs> it's just a chunk error, I think. Because otherwise we've got floating monsters, which... Oh, if they've learned to fly, that's not good. So, yeah, this is my first step into here. I've had a... I just dropped a couple of torches in quickly. But uh, I haven't actually come in. So here we are. We're going to be looking for emeralds. Oh, I wish them chunk, that chunk area would go away. Go. Right, because it was getting confusing, that. Oh, that runs all the way down. There. Oh, spawner. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Depends where it is, I suppose. Okay, where does that go? Does that, go that goes back to Extreme Hill's Edge. That's, uh, no, I'm still at Extreme. I just want to go back to straight on the Extreme Hills. That would be nice. I don't know how far this goes. Like I say, I haven't checked it. I'm going to have a look what that spawner is. I'm going to uh, leave the water for a second. No, I'm going to kill it. Because I hate water. Yes, right, let's go. Let me just light this up. Make sure nothing comes behind me. I don't want anything coming at me from behind. <laughs> That's pornographic. Okay, let's kill that uh, lava. No, 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 no. We're not killing Mr. Lava yet. Looks like, sounds like it's a zombie spawner. Okay. I've actually got some lava with me. So I don't mind killing that lava. If I need more, I have it. Yeah, it's definitely a zombie spawner. Alright, come on, get down. Hello, Mr... Oh. I don't think they can get through. They can't. <laughs> that means I can get through at my leisure now. Oh, spawning on here. I know my luck with creepers. 
Ah. Don't moan at me. I'm one of you. Can't you tell? Uh, there you go. Oops. That went dark quick. It was just like somebody flicked my light switch at home. Oh god, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy when I've took you down. Because you're damn noisy. Oh you can get through. Oh that's cool. That's okay. Oh, but I think we'll do this at my pace, thank you. Alright. Oh we can get through there. Okay, okay, okay. That's no problem. There we go, we'll just replace that. Is. But I'm gonna kill you guy because I only want you for your for your chest. <laughs> Please don't be honest, I only want him for his chest. Hmm, this could be interesting because I think it's open above. It is. Yeah, it could be through. Go away. Okay, let's see if we can't block this off. Let me get me sword. Thank you, I'm ready now. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about hitting with a pick. Zombies. There's some more around there. Let me chuck a torch in. Silly me. See what I'm doing then. Oh, there's a couple more. There we go. That's a lot better. See? Use a sword, it's amazing how much it works. Where am I? See, I'm back in desert again. <sighs> Only way they can get through is there. <sighs> All this way. Here, I'll tell you what, I'll put you some of that in. I wonder if there's a chest back there. Oh, that's sneaky. It means I've got to uncover. Oh, that was a bit boring. So that's it, one chest, that's all we get. That's all you're going to give me. Well, I don't know. Okay. Make a few torches. And then we'll carry on. We'll go the other way. I can hear you in the water, skelly bouncy. Alright, I'm put some. Is it up to put up? Yes, I hate gravel. I'll leave that there. And you can have that as well. There we go. Okay. Let's go the other way then. Where are we now? Desert still. Extreme Hills Edge. Okay. Okay, so I got asked a question again. <laughs> Sorry if that made you jump. I was just thinking. But yeah, um, I got asked a question. A question I've been asked before. And I don't like to say, oh, I've been asked it before. Because, I mean, it, it is, if somebody's got a question to ask, I don't mind answering it. Uh, basically, it's just, uh, I love that word. Basically. I don't know why. It just, you know, does its job. And um, I was asked about making videos again. Good tips, that kind of thing, and I think I usually give same same answer. You know, uh, enjoy what you do. And enjoy what you do. Make sure you get feedback from people that aren't gonna, you know, try and steer you wrong just because they're jealous or nasty. You know, get critic. Get if it's if it's if you're getting criticism, but it's like. Um, Oh, that's Extreme Hills. Oh, yes. Oh, wait a More cobble. Is that me or is that... God, is that not Spawner, is it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Can I carry on? Get constructive criticism. You know, get it from people who are, who are wanting to help you. 
you know, and it will tell you, it will be honest with you and tell you the truth. Get, uh, yeah, that's, that's their opinion. But one thing I don't usually say, but is actually very, oh, did you see that made me jump? What about mine? Mine hurts more. Uh, where was I? You know what actually made me jump that? Because I wasn't actually ready. And I can hear that skeleton, so I know he's there. Another one? This spawner here or something as well? Another one. There's got to be something here. No, oh, there isn't. That's a surprise. Four at the same mob in one area. You usually think that was spawner, but well, obviously not. Anyway, yeah. So constructive criticism is always important, and I often say to people, even people who've just subscribed to me. You know, it doesn't matter that I've made nearly 500 videos. If you've got some constructive criticism, if you've got something that you want to, you know, depart, you know, give me, tell me, impart to me, I suppose the word, I think the word is, or impart, is it? Anyway, <laughs> I don't care. Um, do it, you know, if as long as it's constructive. I mean, if you just say to me, you suck, then it's like, oh, that's not constructive, you see. And it just means that you you've got no brain. But if you've got if if you've got constructive criticism, I'll always listen, and I think that's a good good a bit of advice for anybody. You know, people get very protective, and it's like they don't want to hear anything bad. And I think you've got to be willing to hear bad stuff as well as good stuff. If all you ever want to hear is compliments, then you might as well quit because you can't be perfect. You're not going to fit everyone. To some people, you're going to be the worst commentator in the world, and to others, you're going to be. You're going to be the one of the best. You know, I get sometimes criticism where it's like, yeah, I'm not really into your videos much. And I'm like, oh, that's all right. You don't have to be. You know, not everybody has to be. But then I get others say, you know, you're as good as some of these big commentators and you just haven't been spotted. And, yeah, it's like it's nice to hear on any level. I'm sure I did put that there. I'd have killed that. If, I, if I'd been here, I'd have killed that. Because I always kill water. I have a I have a I have a problem with leaving water running. See, so I thought it to be a spawner. I'll dig into it and have a look. Am I still extreme hills? Yes, I am. Okay, let's have a look. Oh no, it is. I'm here. Oh, I'm <laughs> unbelievable! I've come back at my ravine. Oh, no. They say uh, that's just that's just upsetting that. All this time I've been looking for some extreme trying to look for some, some extreme hills, I find some and I come back round full circle. So annoying. Anyway, uh yeah, so you know, take the criticism, take constructive criticism if it's if it's offered. And if it's not constructive and it's just somebody being nasty, then just ignore them. And ignore them and ignore what they say. That's a good barometer to, to go by, you know, and uh if you can take if you can take criticism, then you'll be all right, because that's the hardest part. When somebody says something nasty, the hardest part is being able to shrug your shoulders and say, "Well, I don't care." Yeah, you know, and if you can do that, you'll be fine. Okay, but there's one piece of advice I don't actually give very often when it comes to that. But it's not because it's not good advice. I just don't think about it. To to be honest, oh, it's still going. Ah, now we're moving away. That's better. And that is, watch your own videos. You've probably heard that advice before, but I don't think I've given it before, so yeah, I'm giving it now. Watch your own videos. Watch what you do back. And if you can't watch your own videos, if you don't like what you see, then nobody else is going to like it, trust me. You've got to like your own work. I've been asked that before. You know, do you like the videos you do? Do you, you know, can you watch yourself back? And in honesty, <laughs> I don't mean this, right? This is going to sound big-headed. Right? I'm warning you now, but I don't mean it to be. I honestly don't. I'm just being honest. But I, when I watch my videos back, I make myself laugh like crazy. I do. I'm, I'm, I'm funny. 
I am honestly funny. If I wasn't me doing the videos and I was just watching me, I'd be I'd, I'd enjoy watching me because I, I make myself laugh all the time. You know, and it's uh, that's a good thing though. You know, if you can make yourself laugh, if you can watch your own videos, because you don't always realise what you're saying unless it's something quite major. I mean, if you say something like you know that's really funny, you'll sometimes laugh at yourself. Or if you say something that you don't normally say. Like if I come out with a massive swear, string of swear words, which I don't do very often, but yeah, well, every so often. And I try not, to, I try to keep swearing it to minimum if I can do it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not a monk or anything. If I do swear and I, and I think it, you know, and I just, you know, at that point in time, it war I feel it warranted it, then I'll leave it, I'll leave it in. But sometimes, like, you know, a creeper will make me jump and I'll give her a long line of, you know, swear words at this creeper and it's not really needed or necessary so you know I'll, I'll that I'll realize I've said and I'll edit it out but no normally it's like I don't know what I'm saying normally I'm just talking away and then I'll listen back at it and I'm absolutely cracking myself up honestly I'm just laughing my head off and it's just oh, I am so funny yeah so <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm so big headed. I mean, honestly, it meant to be, but it, I'm just being honest. I'm just answering the question that was asked to me. Uh, so, yeah, I, I actually can watch my own videos and I can enjoy them and I do enjoy them. So, uh, there you go. I hope that helps. So, yeah, don't forget to do that. Check your own work. Yeah, well, look at your own videos. Watch what you do. Don't just post it. And think, oh, that'll do. If ever you start just posting videos thinking, oh, that'll do, I'll post that. Then trust me, it's time that you actually stop doing it. Yo, you've got to always care about what you do and what you let out. So, you know, if it's not good and you can't watch it and you don't like it and you wouldn't laugh at it or you wouldn't feel happy about it if you'd watched it normally. And it is, if it wasn't you, try and look at it that way. Try and look at it as if you're an outsider looking in. It's hard because it's your own work and everybody likes to feel pride in their own work. But it helps if you can do it. Try and take a step back and look at it from an outsider's point of view. And if you would enjoy that, if you know, if, if you looked at a channel and you saw that video on it, and you can honestly say that you would enjoy watching it, then release it. The only ones I don't watch back, funnily enough, are... Uh, well, I say funnily enough, I suppose it's understandable really that's the monsters monument ones i never watch them back because they're just monsters they're monsters monument i'm always happy with them i am always totally happy with monsters monument because they uh you know because they're for the subscribers they're welcoming subscribers i don't need to watch them back i'm always happy with them so there you go This turned out quite disappointing and I still haven't found no emeralds yet. I was expecting to find one by now. Although somebody did point something out, which is which is actually a valid point. <laughs> and if it's and if it's true, then it's like I am stupid. Well, I've said that I ran round all this area collecting clay for the for the for the village. And I did. So if I ran round here before the emeralds were released, then there might not be any. So, I don't really know, but then again, I'm getting EXP from the coal, but would that happen anyway? I'm not sure. But the point is, if, if, I'd, already, if I'd already been here before, sometimes it doesn't generate, so you have, I'd have to find another extreme hills. Oh, we've got another cave should come in. That's another cave noise. Unless it's telling me about the cave I've had. I don't know anymore. What I think I will do next time... I think I'm going to uh, get me put a chest down and get rid of some of this crap. What I think I'm going to do next time, while I'm off camera, is uh, run round and just see if I can find somewhere else promising. Because I'm going to check round here, in the yeah, under here for longer, and uh, see if I can find anything, anything good. And if I can't, then I'll uh, put that there. Then I will uh, probably go and look somewhere else for another one. Because I've still got to travel. You know, I've still got to go and look. I'll pick all this up and put it in that chest in case I ever need it. 
Uh, I've still got to travel and to, to fight Fortress. So there's a good chance I might go through another Extreme Hills. Which uh, I think might be the best choice for me and see if I can just, you know, get another Extreme Hills. I'll look around here first. I'm not going to quit, you know, give in here just yet. So I'll keep looking. And if I don't find anything and I don't find no uh, emeralds, then I'll go somewhere else and record them. So next time, you'll have to wait and see where we are. But there is, there was a thingy here for certain other sound there saying that there was a cave nearby. Well, that could be that one. Could be that cave that we've just come from. I don't know. My fortune pick's been taking a bit of a battering. Oh dear, that's down. I might actually nip back to base one because it's only a day away. Less than a day. I might nip back to base one and actually do a couple more diamond picks. Uh, do, do another diamond shovel, another diamond pick. I imagine that's only halfway. So I'll keep now. That's all right. I might go and do another diamond shovel though. I didn't expect to really batter them that much. I don't know. I'm keeping coal. I'll go and drop that off at the other other place. Uh, I'll go dry in there. Okay, I'll take this back. Oh, I got a bow. <laughs> Skeleton dropped me a bow. Don't need it though. Here, you can have it. Show it in chest. Any passing monster can have it. What's that? Gravel. Hate gravel. Okay. Right, guys. So I'm going to call that today here. And I'm going to head back to... Uh... No, I'll, I'll dig around here a little bit more. I'm going to dig around here a little bit more. Then I'll head back to the ravine. And uh, if I don't find anything, I'll leave here and find somewhere else. Maybe closer to the fortress. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I really, really do. And uh, I'll see you again next time. So take care of yourselves. And goodbye for now, my friends.